Now let us see the factors affecting the conductivity of the charge that is semiconductors. Factors affecting conductivity of semiconductors. We have already seen the conductivity of semiconductors is given by that is sigma equal to E n mu n plus P mu P. That is what we have just seen. So here the factors on which this conductivity is depending upon is E which is a constant quantity 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 then n concentration of electrons mu n mobility of electrons P concentration of holes and mu p mobility of holes uh, now let us see the mobility the mobility of electrons is nothing but e to c n by m n and what is this to c n to c n is average collision time of electrons just like metals we have seen the mobility was e tau by m in case of metals we have only single type of carriers that is electrons so we talked about the average collision time of the electrons here mu n is mobility of electrons to n is average collision time of electrons m n is effective mass of electron and mu p is equal to e tau c p by m p where tau c p is nothing but that is average collision time of holes and P is nothing but effective mass of hole. For mathematical purpose, we take M n equal to M P and tau C n and tau C P may be different. Here, remember one thing: mobility is function of these two important parameters. E is constant again. So, if the temperature is changed then average collision time of the carriers will change why when temperature of the material is increased the atoms at different sides in the crystal structure start vibrating when like when atoms start vibrating then the charge carriers while moving will collide with these lattice sites and that result into increase in resistance or resistivity of the material here now i'll write mu n or rather than saying mu n i'll talk about general term that is mobility of the charge carriers for semiconductors is function of t it varies inversely with t what is t t is temperature m is a constant we will see what is that constant so reason being these that is the average collision time of the charge carriers reduces with increasing temperature therefore mobility reduces with increasing temperature where m what is m here important point is m is equal to 2.5 for germanium for that is basically 2.5 for germanium for electrons and 2.7 for holes for holes that is for silicon and m is equal to 1.33 for electrons and this is 2.66 uh, I'll repeat that is 2.66 for holes. This is for germanium. These are approximated values. These are not exact values. There may be slight difference in textbooks as well. But important point to be observed here is when M is more then reduction in mu will be more. Why? Because this is in denominator, so when m is more, reduction will be more. So the mobility of holes will be less as compared to mobility of electrons. And similarly here, the mobility of holes is less as compared to mobility of electrons. 
important point. So I'll say, but another point is the value of E for silicon and germanium it is varying. You can see that it for silicon it is 2.5 for electron, it is 1.33 for electron. So mobility of charge carrier electrons itself is different for the different materials. It means mobility of the charge carriers depends upon the type of material itself and type of the charge carriers itself. So I'll say mobility of electrons is more than the mobility of holes that is what we conclude number one number two mobility of electrons for germanium is more than mobility of electrons for silicon and similarly mobility of holes for germanium is more than mobility of holes for silicon so these may be objective type questions in exam we have seen the variation in mobility with respect to temperature so first factor we are talking about is temperature here fine so if temperature of the semiconductor is increased the mobility will decrease because of decrease in mobility what will happen the conductivity will decrease i'm just talking about this factor assuming n and p are not affected but that is not a fact in case of metals if you remember in case of metals the conductivity is n e into mu in case of metals or conductors the concentration of the charge carriers is constant why because all the electrons in metals are free e is constant mobility will decrease with increase in temperature because of increased lattice vibrations the average collision time will decrease and because of change in average collision time decrease in average collision time with the temperature conductivity of the metals decreases therefore and if you know rho is nothing but 1 by sigma so resistivity will increase with increase in temperature in case of metals that is why we call the metals have positive temperature coefficient what is the meaning of positive temperature coefficient that is nothing but temperature coefficient is change in resistivity per unit change in temperature so if temperature increases resistivity also increases so that is nothing but coefficient of resistivity so metals have positive temperature coefficient come back to the semiconductors here mu and mu mobility that is mu n and mu p reduces with increase in temperature but there is generation of electron hole pairs in case of semiconductors we have discussed if you supply some energy to the semiconductor the electrons from valence band will jump to the conduction band that is intrinsic generation in that case because of increase in concentration there will be an increase in conductivity assuming these are constant but this is not a fact when you increase the temperature mobility will decrease but concentration will increase because of increase in concentration of the charge carriers there is net effect of increase in conductivity this factor is increased with increase in temperature why because increasing charge carrier concentration is dominant over decreasing conductivity and there is net increase in this factor which results into increase in conductivity of the semiconductors when we say increase in conductivity that is the case for what normal or low level doping uh, if doping is low or normal in that case conductivity will increase with increase in temperature so because of that we call this as having the negative temperature coefficient why because the resistivity of the semiconductors decreases conductivity increases Re the temperature coefficient is always defined in terms of change in resistivity per unit change in temperature not in terms of conductivity so if there is change if that is that if there is a decrease in resistivity with increase in temperature we say negative temperature coefficient so for normal or low level of doping the semiconductors have negative temperature coefficient including intrinsic semiconductor that is for intrinsic semiconductor it is an i that is what we have now 
now let us see the second case for heavily doped semiconductors in case of heavily doped semiconductors there is important mechanism here i'll say that is second case the charge carrier concentration is almost at saturation level all the carriers are almost free so the in when temperature is increased mobility is increased sorry mobility is decreased because of this but the concentration is almost at saturation level so the percentage change in concentration is not that much high as compared to decrease in mobility so this factor becomes dominant in case of heavily doped materials so decrease in mobility is more as compared to increase in charge carrier concentration therefore conductivity decreases with increase in temperature in case of heavily doped semiconductors so if conductivity decreases with increase in temperature that means resistivity will increase with increase in temperature if resistivity increases with increase in temperature that means that has positive temperature coefficient so heavily doped semiconductors have what positive temperature coefficient so here if you compare these two in this case the conductivity increases as temperature increases in this case conductivity decreases as temperature increases there are lot of objective type questions in engineering services from this topic from this concept change in conductivity of semiconductors with change in temperature so i hope the concept is clear so the conductivity of the semiconductors is not affected only by the temperature the rather it is changed by the level of concentration as well and the concentration of the charge carriers can be controlled by different methods i can generate the charge carriers if, if suppose i am increasing the temperature then i can change the concentration as well that is by doping the material that is by conductivity modulation or there are different techniques we will see all the techniques one by one but for the time being just remember the effect of temperature and concentration on the conductivity of semiconductors now there is one more small topic from the electrical properties of semiconductors that is effect of electric field on the drift velocity drift velocity of the carriers we know that is effect of electric field on drift velocity we have just seen the drift velocity vd is equal to what the mobility of the charge carriers into e that is what we have here remember the a change in um, uh, the change in mobility and the change in drift velocity we have seen that was nothing but dv dx by dt in case of metals we have derived this expression and that was what e capital e tau by m and that was mu into e this is the expression i'm taking so here the there is effect on mobility of electric field as well remember the mobility and drift velocity of the uh, semiconductors are function of electric field why because when electric field of the semiconductor is increased that will be changing again the average collision time and because of that what will happen mobility of the carrier will be changed because of the electric field i'll be giving you the values that is change in mobility with electric field i'll be giving some values from the table here the mobility of the charge carriers mu is constant it remains constant up to 
when electric field is less than 10 is to the power 3 volt per centimeter. It remains constant and it varies field when electric field is increased mobility will fall and the range of electric field for that is E less than uh, greater than 10 for 3 volt per centimeter and less than 10 centimeter that is approximated value and it may be uh, given uh, these values may be given slightly different in different books I am taking this from Milman Halkias and this is equal to E raised to power minus 1 when electric field is more than 10 is to power 4 volt per centimeter. Mobility of the charge carriers is function of temperature we have seen. Mobility of charge carriers is function of electric field as well and this is the variation. Now from above relationship if you see VD, VD is nothing but you can see there is a relationship between this mu is constant so V D is nothing but proportional to electric field. Um, uh, this is proportional. This is constant. This is proportional. This is proportional. Now V D this is constant. So if this is constant V D will be proportional to E when electric field is less than 10 to the power 3 volt per centimeter. That's what you find. Then this is proportional to now you can see here for this range it is proportional to e raised to power minus 1 by 2 if you put it here this will become e raised to power 1 by 2 for which range when electric field is greater than 10 raised to power 3 volt per centimeter and less than 10 raised to power 4 volt per centimeter then when E becomes more than this, drift velocity, it, it becomes proportional, so it becomes constant, independent of electric field. So that means my drift velocity of the charge carriers is a function of electric field. It is not constant. So what I find here is, now let us see the variation of mobility. This is mobility of the charge carriers, this is electric field. Initially it is constant, it is constant up to which value that is e raised to power 10 raised to power 3 volt per centimeter. I will say this is in volt per centimeter and say this is 10 raised to power 4 volt per centimeter. So this will be reducing with the rate of this and this will be further higher rate. That is how the mobility will vary up to certain point it is constant and then it will start decreasing and further at higher rate and now if you see the variation in drift velocity that is vd this is e i'll be taking again same values see here vd is proportional to e so that means drift velocity increases linearly up to certain point that is 10 power 3 that is 10 power 4 then it increases with this rate so it this rate of increase becomes slightly less and after that it, it becomes constant so it becomes constant so drift velocity becomes constant after certain value of e that is how the mobility and drift velocity are going to vary with electric field there can be objective type question in engineering services from this concept or one mark question in gate. So this is all about the electric property that is nothing but conductivity, mobility, drift velocity of the charge carriers of or charge carriers or we can say in case of semiconductors. Now we will see the examples uh, that is questions in gate which have appeared in past years. But for the time being just go through the concepts of conducting properties or, or electrical properties of the semiconductors.